My videos are gaining traction. People are starting to catch on. They're starting to see how I elevate. I should be a defense attorney. I laid this out perfect that even a blind elephant would be able to figure it out. I was listening to a national radio show last night. Um, I forget the name. It escapes me right now. But they were talking about my video and what I was saying. And the guy said, there's some validity in what he's saying if you think about it. So this is on a national level. People are talking about, I forget that. I'm trying to think. The name escapes me. It's a, it's a big name. I just can't think of the name. So Kevin is now being talked about in the national media. It's gaining traction. It's like it's like in four-wheel drive right now. Blum, 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 blum. Kevin, you have been exposed. And Jimmy has him. If you really want to get rid of Kevin Stefanski, all you got to do is just, and you don't want to pay him, all you got to do is call him in the office and say, yo, you have to give up play calling. I need you to concentrate on the game. And he'll quit. He will quit. If he can't call plays, he'll quit. And I'm going to tell you something. If he doesn't quit, I'll guarantee whoever's calling plays will be right next to him. You hired an egotistical, hands-on, bad-with-people guy who, all because of Paul D. Potest, the money ball guy. You fucked up, Jimmy. You fucked up big time. Because you've never had this type of talent in Cleveland before. We have great talent, but you fucked up. You had a head coach last year who put his agenda before the team, and we missed the playoffs. Any other coach in the league would have sat Mayfield, regardless of the injury, just on based how he was playing. But Kevin exploited them, and he got the last laugh until now. Um, the Cincinnati Bengals, you look at what they look at. Zach Taylor, I'm going to tell you something. Zach Taylor is so much more superior than Kevin Stefanski. It's not even funny. The only thing I don't like about Zach Taylor, I don't like his play calling at all. He's got such a high power. He's got so many great weapons offensively. I think he actually is like Stefanski to an extent. He hinders it. I, I did not like his play calling on the last drive, but I just don't like his play calling. But he's a great coach. He is a good coach. And I'll guarantee you if someone suggested him to give up play calling, he would. Um, but you wouldn't. You don't even know Zach Taylor calls plays because he's right. There's people around him on the sidelines. He's not sending. He's not standing in a ten yard box all alone on an island. So, yeah, Zach Taylor is so much better. I love these Browns fans. I think Stefanski's good. They have no clue on football. How can you say a guy that makes no in game adjustments, no halftime adjustments? How can you say a guy is good that's running a high school offense at the at the professional level? He's playing checkers while everybody else is playing chess. But you guys want to say he went eleven and five. He won a playoff game. He didn't win no playoff game. He lost a playoff game. If Kevin coached that game, we lose that game. This guy's the worst coach we've ever had. He's the worst coach. And you know what? I don't even know what type of real coach he is because he doesn't even coach. He's just a horrible, horrible individual because he won't coach. He just wants to be the. You know what he wants to be really? Just a play caller. He don't even want to be the head coach. Let him call plays. That's all he wants to do. That's he don't want to. He doesn't do anything on the game to make decisions. He doesn't. So until we eradicate him, we're done. We're done. Hey, we're gonna drive. Hey, you know what I want? I want Kenny Pickett. I want Kenny Pickett, and I don't want this guy ruining this guy. I don't want him ruining it. I don't want him ruining it. And you know, people will sit there and say, "Oh, Mayfield ruined every no." You gotta listen. This is a track record with Kevin Stefanski. His past has caught up to him. Stephon Diggs, sixty-three catches the next year, one hundred and seventeen in Buffalo. And then Odell Beckham, the guy never could figure out how to use him. It's 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 all on Stefanski. You can say me if it's Stefanski. It's that simple. Even Freddie Kitchens got Odell Beckham involved. So I hope that God that Jimmy Haslam wakes up and just fires him, bite the bullet, go get a real coach. Someone that is that runs a, a 2021 offense. Hell, I'll even settle for a 2010 offense right now. But I won't settle for a high school offense. Three tight end, especially when we're down and we need a score touchdown and we're running three tight ends the whole fucking game. It's just, you have no shot. He doesn't know. I've never seen a guy that has doesn't know how to use his roster, doesn't know how to call play. He's just terrible. And if I was Baker Mayfield, I'd want the fuck out of Cleveland ASAP. And I can't wait till he leaves because, number one, we're going to get a good quarterback, someone that can run. And number two is, I guarantee you, Mayfield will go somewhere. And he's going to catch on. He's not going to be Colt McCoy. 
He's going to catch on, and he's going to be a starter, and he's going to rip Stefanski. And I wouldn't be surprised if Baker Mayfield's a fucking beast when he gets out of Cleveland. And you know what? I, I can't wait. I hope he is. I hate Mayfield, but I do want him to dominate because I hate Stefanski. And I can't wait till he goes out of Cleveland and he fucking lights it on fire. Because he will. You know what's going to happen. He will. I don't know people think Mayfield sucks, but the fact remains when he's healthy, he can throw, he can throw a football with velocity and with accuracy. He can play in this league. So when he goes somewhere else and someone picks him up and he comes back and we're still sitting there looking for a quarterback with Kevin Stefanski, I can't wait. I cannot wait because, he, you know, Mayfield, he's not going to keep quiet about it. He's going to sit there and tell you, yeah, you had me, Cleveland, but you let some little goddamn Ivy League clown run the show and rip it all to shreds. And I can't wait for that day. I just can't wait. I wish he'd go to Pittsburgh. I wish he would go to Pittsburgh and just fucking dominate. As long as Stefanski's here. If Stefanski's gone, I don't care where he goes. I just, I just... We have to get rid of this guy. This guy is such a cancer. It's, I just, I don't understand how we still have him. I don't understand it. But I'm glad my videos are starting to pick up national uh, attention. Validity, like the guy said, there is some validity what he's saying. He says, I don't know how you keep running Baker Mayfield. The guy said, I don't know how you keep running Baker Mayfield out there weekly after how bad he played. And he was injured. So it's picking up traction. And maybe these clowns on ESPN will pick it up. This was on ESPN Radio, by the way, but maybe these other guys. But they have an agenda. And you notice no one talks about Cleveland no more? You know why? Because Kevin Stefanski, hey, Jimmy Hazel, no one talks about your team anymore. That coach killed any momentum we had. And it's just a matter of time before players want to get the fuck out of Cleveland. I, and I wouldn't blame them at this juncture. When you're in a position playing football for a coach that you, number one is clueless, and number two is vindictive, you want out. I don't. I wouldn't blame Miles Garrett and all these guys for wanting the fuck out of Cleveland. They have a severe cancer at the head coaching job, and no one does nothing. The media, oh my God, the Cleveland media are a bunch of pussies. They won't ask any questions. They're scared. I cannot believe the astute media in Cleveland who puts out all these other bullshit can't see what's going on there and won't ask about it. I mean, why won't none of them ask about it? Because they, they don't want to make Kevin mad. Because they know what? Once you get on Kevin's bad side, like Mayfield... Or uh, Brashard Higgins or David and Joko, you're fucked. You ain't seeing that field. You ain't seeing the question. So uh, I can't wait till Mayfield goes somewhere else. I can't because I, I hope he dominates. And I have a feeling Mayfield's gonna. I have a feeling this is gonna be a redemption story for Mayfield. Uh, and I hope he doesn't grow up. I want him to act like he is now, so he'll punk uh, Stefanski. I get. I can picture him in his first game, like, well, I'm running the NFL offense now. You know. Uh, I'm not playing high school ball anymore. I got out of that high school offense. I, could, I just can't wait. I can't wait. And I can picture Kevin's response. But like, well, he's entitled to his opinion. Um, what? He'll be pissed. Anyway, I can't wait. It's going to be fireworks. Baker's going to be... Baker ain't this... Hey, Baker's not going to be on this team this year. There's no way Haslam or no way Stefanski made it clear he doesn't want him. He's not going to be here. And that's fine. I want Kenny Pickett. I want a rookie quarterback that can run. You imagine if we had Kenny Pickett in this stupid high school offense? It'd be exciting. But we still wouldn't score points because, you know, the three tight ends said it. We're not going to do nothing offensively, but it will be exciting to be able to have a quarterback that can run. But we will start out with Kevin. We'll probably start out 1-5, and 1-6. and six. He's going to be fired. He's going to be fired. And then watch the offense. It's going to be another Hugh Jackson thing. Fred, uh, Fred, um, Freddie. Alex Van Pelt will probably take over and we'll dominate. It'll be a little too late, though. That's why I hope Haslam makes the move after week four or five. Don't go. I don't want him to. I don't want him to wait too long. I should go into team building because I see. I'm such a genius. I see things that I open people's. You know what it is? I open people's eyes up. That's how good I am. I open up an ESPN uh, radio host's eyes and. And he said there's validity to what I'm saying. They actually played a clip of my video for like a minute and a half. They beeped out a few things, but um, I wish I heard, what the fuck was his name? It was on, it was like 8 o'clock at night, whoever the 8 o'clock at night guy was. But anyway, that's a video. I know I'm, gonna, I'm just going to keep making Kevin Stefanski videos because I'll be honest with you. Football, I know the game. I know what the fuck the problem is. Um... I know that we had an injured quarterback last year that this guy threw out there to fucking exploit. I know that we could have made the playoffs last year if this guy set his ego aside, benched quarterback, put Case Key to them in, and we could have made the playoffs. And who knows what we do with that defense? Because our defense was very good last year. It was our defense is probably one of the top three in the league. 
especially pass defense. I mean, once you get in that dance, who knows what can happen. I'm just telling you what I know and what I can see.